Swimming and hockey make up two of 45 Mizzou club sports, and one of their biggest issues is practice time. So every week we have the pool reserved uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. And then we practice on Sundays from 4 to 5.30. Because we reserve the pool, like we, we have those set times every week, um, we do have conflicts sometimes with the water polo club has pool time and then Columbia Swim Club and the D1 team also have pool time. So we kind of have to work around that. But The hockey team practices at Jefferson City Ice Arena. We try and the lady that runs all of the ice, like the rink manager there, she usually contacts us during the summer to figure out our schedule. Um, so we'll try and get our game schedule into her as quickly as possible. So we make sure we get that 7 o'clock ice time on Friday nights for our home games and like the 4 o'clock or 4.30 on the next day just because we want to make sure that it's not too late in the day. It hasn't ever really been an issue for us because we have been their biggest business for so long now. Um, so we're a big, you know, we're a big money maker for them. So they want to make sure that they give us the times that we want to. So yeah, we usually try and figure out our practice times at the beginning of the season. The clubs are not provided with buses, so sometimes travel gets interesting. And then in terms of traveling, we carpool to all of our meets. Um, so we like assign people cars and it's usually like four or five to a car. We drive out usually the night before and we try and stay with the teams. A lot of the teams host us. The hockey team travels a lot more than swim does as they have many more games. So players will always carpool to practices. It's just the easiest thing to do, I don't know myself. Um, but as far as carpooling to games, we don't typically do that that often unless we're going to St. Louis or to Kansas City just because it is a very short drive. We then found out where each club gets their equipment from. So the kickboards and the pool buoys, uh, a lot of that is that it belongs to our club, so it's either stuff from former members or stuff that we, in the past, have used club funds to buy. Um, a lot of people have, you know, their own personal kickboards or personal hand paddles and stuff, and that's just, you know, gear that they may have had from past swimming. They all have their own equipment. We don't provide any, uh, which, you know, does, that's what it comes with being a club team and trying to find out, you know, the best ways to fix our issues. J2150T, Jacob Seuss, Columbia, Missouri.